It was just a week before Christmas. A 19 year old right here in Louisville gunned down at 43rd in Market Streets. His parents waiting for an arrest that has not come. The night team's Heather Fontaine is tracking this week's Crime Stuffers. Why my boy? My, my son wasn't a drug dealer. He didn't run the streets. He wasn't a gang banger. He'd never been locked up. He's never been in trouble with the law. Never. So truly, why my boy? We don't understand. It's a question these parents may never know the answer to. My daughter so hurt by it that she felt like she had to move in his room just so she could feel him. Christian Gwen was a big brother. He was four here and she was three. A superb son. Everything I've asked for for my son, he's given it to me. He and his father, Nevada, were close, sharing a bond with no bounds. I started teaching my son to fish about five. Mm -hmm. Was he any good? Oh, he was better than, he got better than me. Yeah. He'd catch first fish. The 19-year-old had finished high school and graduated from Job Corps over the summer. A life cut short just a week before Christmas on December 19th. Only thing I could do was scream his name. It was around 9.30 that Thursday night. His mother, Krista, got a call from a friend. She said, I'm telling you, you need to get to 43rd and Market. Hurry up. There within minutes, and her husband close behind. He can actually see, see my son. son with the paramedics working on him, about to put him in the ambulance. And we're just asking the police, is that our boy? Rushed to the hospital, but Christian wouldn't make it. My son was hit two times. He was hit in the upper torso and went through the hand. His parents say he was walking on the sidewalk the night that he died leaving Indies with a few friends. That's when she says a car circled the block. Someone rolled down the window and started shooting. His friends got away. What he's trying to tell us was Chris wasn't paying attention or didn't see him and got caught. Christian's friends described the car they believe they saw to his parents. It was told to me a numerous account that it was a 2006 maroon Chevy Impala. Now every car we see that look like it. It we seems wonder. like it. They say Christian had a 10 p.m. curfew and he never missed it. He would have been home in 30 minutes. It happened only two blocks from their home, a corner that's hard to even drive past nowadays. But the Gwyns find comfort knowing there were people here during their son's final breaths. One man took his hood off and put it under my boy's head. So his head would lay on the concrete. And another woman stood by him and told him that his parents loved him. She didn't even know us. It makes us feel a little bit better that somebody was there telling my son that he was loved. Because he, he was. Alone. He wasn't alone. His heart ventricles, some of his muscles, and Christian's eyes were donated. He gave somebody sight. And I'm just hoping my son can see life again. that maybe whoever has his eyes will have to venture and see the things the way he saw. And to those who saw his murder, that know who pulled the trigger, Nevada and Krista are begging for you to speak up. You don't have to say, well, I so-and-so seen it. Just say, I think I know this might be important. I got some information. You don't have to leave your name. Just anything. What would that mean to you all? That would mean a lot. Everything. It would mean everything to have some kind of closure. Christian died two months ago today. If you were around 43rd and Market the night of December 19th, maybe you saw the car or heard the shots. A tip could bring this family peace. And remember, it's anonymous. For WHIS 11 News, I'm Heather Fontaine. And so that number to call is 582-CLUE, 582-CLUE. You do not have to leave your name, and if your information does lead to an arrest, you can receive up to $1,000.